Good morning! Today you will learn how to make a really cool material in Blender that displaces geometry based on height maps. And uh, this uh, trick gives the illusion of uh, liquids uh, dripping or melting. And uh, you can of course use it for other stuff, but uh, I, today we will use it for an ice cream melting. For this example, I will use this ice cream that I modeled in Blender. You can use whatever uh, model you want, but uh, the major thing about the model is that it needs to be a very high poly model, uh, otherwise it will look a bit weird. So um, you can see my uh, try count is quite high for this one. And to create this effect, we will actually use animated masks that displaces the geometry. So we will not actually have physical geometry dripping on the sides, but we will displace the uh, cone. You can see that I've all already uh, UV uh, unwrapped uh, this model. And preferably you want to UV unwrap it in such a way that it's easy to animate. And uh, you will uh, see how we will animate the mask uh, in just a second. So this is what we'll be creating today. This is the node tree. So it's basically three shaders that we're mixing together. And using masks determines which shader goes where. And how high it will displace the geometry. So first things first, we need to export our UV layout so we can use it to see what we're doing. And you find this option uh, under UV and then export UV layout and then name it to um, ice cream cone UV layout. And then to the right you must choose uh, appropriate resolution. Uh, for this project I will use 2K, so 2048 by 2048 and export. So this is the image that we get. And in After Effects, the first thing to do is create a composition using the uh, UV layout image. It's a one by one image. And then create uh, just a regular black background and place it underneath the UV. Uh, then you want to go to New, Solid and create a white solid. This basically will be the mask that we'll be creating. So we'll name this to ice cream underscore melting underscore cone. Um, yeah, underscore mask. And then place it above everything else. You can uncheck the visibility. Then go into uh, the pen tool and uh, check the roto bezier. You don't have to use the roto bezier, but that's what I use. So yeah, uh, you can do whatever you want. And then just draw like a, a melting uh, mask. Uh, you don't have to follow my exact steps here, but uh, yeah, draw something that looks like dripping or yeah, a liquid of some kind. And of course, this entire tutorial works on other things other than liquids and stuff. You can use this to displace your geometry in interesting, weird ways. But for this example, we'll be using yeah the ice cream. So this is what we'll be doing today. Then you want to animate the mask so it looks like it's actually dripping. So insert a keyframe. And I saw that the composition was way too long and it doesn't match the frame rate. For this project, I will be using 25 FPS. So make sure that your composition is matching your project. And a duration of 20 seconds perhaps will do. It doesn't have to be that long. And uh, yeah, so this, uh, this is basically mostly a creative thing. Uh, create like a mask that you fancy. That looks somewhat like liquids uh, dripping. Mm, yeah, something like this. And if, if we have a look at it, it looks 
It looks okay. Almost like liquid dripping. And you want to invert this. And then uh, copy this solid and make a new one. A duplicate. And on this one you don't want it to be inverted. So make sure that you uncheck invert. And then recompose this. And uh, on this one we want to add a Gaussian blur. And for the blurness I found 50 works. You can of course play with this and uh, check repeat edge pixels. So we inverted the solids to get this nice uh, sort of like an inner glow effect. Then you want to duplicate the first solid once again and remove the mask from it. And on this layer we'll be adding an effect called cell pattern. And for the settings you want to change to tubular. And then contrast, lower it to 50. Change the overflow to soft clamp. And uh, disperse to 1.5. The size to 90. And then add the uh, amazing turbulent displays. And for this we'll be using an amount of... Um, let's go with 150. And size mm, we'll do 60. And keyframe the evolution from the beginning of the composition to the end. And this is also a, an artistic thing. So it's... Don't follow this exactly if you don't want to. So we get this weird wobble effect, which is exactly wh what we want. And when we uh, overlay this on top of the other layers, we want to make sure that the uh, borders stay intact of the mask with the black and white. So change this layer to darken and you will see that it blends nicely with the uh, other layers underneath. And then duplicate the uh, solid once again. And rename this one to ice cream melting underscore cone underscore choker invert. And this is the last st step. So for this layer, uh, you want to add a simple choker. And change the choke mat to minus one. And then we want to invert this layer with a simple invert. And you will get something like this. So if we scrub through here, you will see that we get a cool dripping effect with uh, some um, yeah, patterns on top of it. And then just render it out to a PNG sequence, preferably. And choose an appropriate name. Uh, for uh, my ice cream, I've actually made two of these masks, one for each flavor. And the workflow is quite similar, but um, you can do this with only one mask if you want. Or you can do it with two masks, as we'll do in this example. So to make it easier to understand how displacement works, I've made this uh, illustration, where you can see that with a smooth gradient from black to white, you get a very smooth roll-off on the displacement. If you wouldn't have this gradient, we would get something very hard, uh, step-like like this one. That's not what we want, so make sure that the mask is smooth from black to white. Make sure that you're doing uh, one texture for each displacement. So I'll be displacing two flavors of ice cream. So I've made two textures on the same geometry and then export uh, each texture so so that you have like three textures on the same geometry uh, and yeah this is uh, what we'll be using the mask for later so back in blender i've assigned a simple uh, principle bsdf 
And we'll be using Node Wrangler. So if you uh, go to Edit, Add-ons, search for Node, and then enable Node Wrangler, Shift Control T to get uh, a very fast way of uh, mapping everything correctly. I have to uh, invert the uh, normal map to uh, OpenGL. I've made a node group for that. So I'll delete uh, this one and add my own custom node group. It's, it's just for my textures. So now we have a fully functional texture for the cone. Nothing fancy yet. Uh, this is pretty basic stuff. And we'll duplicate all of this. And I'll remove these uh, borders, frames. And then replace the textures with the other textures that you made. So for my ice cream cone, I made two flavors. One melon flavor and one chocolate flavor. So as you can see here, we have one texture that is just melon. And then we'll do... Uh, I'll just hook these up real quick. Mm, yeah. And then we'll duplicate, duplicate all of these once again. And change the textures to the chocolates. So just drip it. So basically now we will have three different shaders. One cone texture, one melon texture, and one chocolate texture. Perfect. So now what we want to do is that we want to add in our own mask that we uh, made in After Effects. So uh, search for the uh, image texture node and then find your uh, masks. Make sure you select all of them. This is easy to miss. And make sure that the text sequence is enabled and check the cyclic and auto refresh. And then do this step once again. If you have multiple, multiple masks, that is. If you only have one mask, you obviously don't have to do this two times. But since we'll, we have two flavors of ice cream, we'll import these as well. And then, uh, yeah, the same steps, cyclic and uh, auto refresh. Perfect. So the next step, we'll add in a color ramp. And change this to constant. And choke this quite intensively. And uh, yeah, I'll zoom in here so you can see. Yeah, uh, mostly white will be perfect. Then hook these up to the factor from the color. Then duplicate and do the same for the other one. Color to factor. And then we will add these together with a math node. Then hook up the color to the uh, values. And then we will clamp this. So this is important that you clamp this one. For the second one, you want to uncheck clamp. So this one should not be clamped. And just hook up the color to the values once again. Perfect. And then this, uh, this one will go into a displacement node. And the value will go into the height. So for the mid-level you want zero, this is important. And for the scale this is obviously depending on your model. For this one I will go with a rather low value of 0 0.002. And then make sure under the material settings make sure that displacement and bump is selected this is obviously very important otherwise it will not work at all uh, and then we will mix the shaders so add a simple mix shader and add 
this value to the uh, factor. And then duplicate the mix shader. Because we will blend the chocolate and the uh, melon flavors with this, uh, with this node. Then hook it up. And this bottom color ramp is what will determine the factor of this one. Then hook up the shader to the other mix shader. And the cone textures that we made previously will hook up to the other sockets, input sockets. Then hook up the shader to the shader surface. And you should get something like this. And if it doesn't work right away, you might want to change the input sockets for the uh, mixed shaders. These ones are easy to um, mix together. So uh, if you don't get the result that you're looking for, try to invert these just by changing them. As you can see that I did here. So now if we change this to a timeline, you will see in the material preview that the uh, textures are melting using our masks, which is very nice. And then if you change uh, the render to uh, cycles, this will not work in Eevee, by the way, if you didn't know. In cycles, it will look like the uh, ice cream is melting. And of course, uh, to show you, I uh, on purpose uh, mix the uh, shaders, so if it doesn't look right, uh, just change the input sockets once again. And it should look correctly. And then, uh, yeah, obviously you can uh, copy and paste the uh, principal BSDF from the uh, ice cream shader uh, instead of creating a new one. But for this one, I will just lower the uh, roughness to 0 0.3 or uh, something. Uh, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we can do some minor tweaks to this one. But uh, other than that, uh, we're pretty much done with the effects. So this is a rather cool uh, and easy way to uh, displace geometry. That makes it look like we're uh, simulating a liquid when we're actually not. And by doing it this way, you don't have to bake simulations and stuff. And uh, it's a very cool and uh, interesting way of uh, doing it. It might not look as real, but it's a lot easier on the computer. So um, that's always something. And uh, you can uh, displace geometry using masks in very interesting ways. So this is just one way of doing it. And I hope that you find this useful and uh, come up with something else cool to use it for. And if you do, uh, please let me know and uh, I will have a look at your work. Would love that. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.